Heads of department at the Royal Turks and Caicos Police Force during a recent press conference not only talked about the recent decline in crime rates in the Turks and Caicos, they also talked about some new initiatives. Harsher punishment for criminals, a greater investment in recruitment, and an even better connection with the public so that they may assist in solving crimes. Those were some of the hot-button topics discussed at the recent Royal Turks and Caicos Police press conference where crime was described as being on a decrease for the year of 2007. Commissioner of Police Edward Hall also cleared up some uncertainty about the police 911 emergency response system and the reason for the lack of competence. We've had a whole lot of complaints about uh, the 911 system which is not really a system, it's a phone line that was given to us by Cable and Wireless. And quite naturally, the, the only agency that um, was felt um, able to operate it was the police, so we were settled with it. Um, that line uh, has caused a lot of uh, problems as it relates to persons wanting to contact us. And um, it's simply because there have been quite a bit of abuse and people would tend to believe that that abuse was within the police department, but I want to put you on, uh, I want to go on racket to say the public abused the system uh, and contributed a whole lot to the uh, unfortunate um, uh, line, not, the line unfortunately not working properly. The commissioner continued by saying that the government made a real effort to assist in establishing a proper 911 call system. The government has responded in terms of providing the, the um, monies necessary to, to set up this, the, the 911 system. And we have managed to attract a, a professional um, to come in and set it up. Uh, and um, we're hoping that uh, that person would be in place at the end of March the latest. And there's another local person who's counterpart. So we're having two professionals um, leading the effort and we are, we are, we are, we are going to be employing at least six, between six and eight call handlers. So we're going to have at the end of the day and certainly by the end of this year a professional uh, 911 system uh, being operated semi-independent of the police. Residents have often complained about the police, their response time to incidents and especially the 911 system currently in place. The commissioner said the police force is attempting to change the public's perception of their mission. This is that we have to deliver the kind of policing that we, we can deliver to the Turks and Caicos Island people. The new 911 call system should be established sometime this year.